tell me you live in a college town without telling me you live in a college town, right? Them babies is getting that education. What's good, fabulous followers? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm doing something I do all too well, but has stopped for a long time. Picking up dinner. I had the uh, pork bowls out to make today, and honestly, I'm just not in the mood for cooking and cleaning. I'm at the end of my battle with Mother Nature. TMI, but the truth. And so, I'm picking up a steak dinner from Outback. Uh, I was watching K. Michelle's live last night. She was begging for a steak. She just don't know how fast I would have got to Chicago and got her one. <laughs> Facts. Um, my week is pretty intense for this being a little over a month that I've been at the new job. Uh, getting some intricate details taken care of with my clients which out of that you got to produce some work recovery plan you either creating it or updating it and so a little bit leery about that because I like to be a good perfectionist with my paperwork paperwork like everything else but I am a people and not a paper person so that's how they're going I started preliminary taking out my stuff to pack kind of laying things out one of the things I realized was <clears throat> I decided not to get the hard body luggage. Um, again, trying to save money so I have more money to enjoy myself and making sure bills was paid and whatnot. But um, instead, since I didn't do that, because they said sometimes if it's raining when you get to the port, your bags are out there and people have been experiencing wet things before. So first I stepped out on faith, like, no, that's not going to happen. But now what I decided to do was line my luggage with um, a big black garbage bag. I cut it open, and I'll just put that under and over my clothes to keep everything dry in the event it is raining at the port. But to go ahead and spend another 75 to $100 for luggage just didn't seem like the thing to do at this time. Again, it wasn't the highest moment of my finances. It's just something that I was ready to do for myself. This year, it was going to be the cruise or my dog. I would like it to be both. Still hoping I can get my dog around Christmas time. But, um, you know, it's just a point of me celebrating myself another year on life, in life, and... Um, doing something that I've really wanted to always do, you know, having one income, being a single parent, not really being educated for higher income at first, um, just didn't get those luxuries. One of my biggest regrets about parenting is not sending my son to camps, basketball camps, things of that nature, um, just providing more adventures for us. All right, I'm back. I had got a phone call. I thought it was the restaurant because um, they should have been brought my stuff out by now. But we're going to be patient. It's Sunday. You know, a lot of people go out for Sunday dinner. I didn't even pay attention to the parking lot because I pulled right up on the uh, takeout part. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, my cruise and whatnot. So um, I did the excursion. Originally, my son was going to pay for the excursion, but he had some things come up. They're kind of at strike and it's, you know, difficult. But anyway, I was able to do that myself. So I will be doing the Dolphin Encounter Excursion. Um, I bought the bubbly drink package because I'm a soda drinker. Going to need my Sprites and hopefully they have Pepsi. Um, and what else did I buy? I put some cruise cash on my card for alcoholic beverages and get my son a souvenir. Um... <clears throat> What else did I purchase? The Wi-Fi. Um, oh, and the specialty dining dinner. That is an experience that I would have done regardless, but I'm doing it the first night because you get the complimentary bottle of wine, so now I don't have to worry about bringing my own wine on. That would be taken care of. I think I have decided I will get a 12-pack of Sprite to take on. Um, pick that up before the lift picks me up to take me to the port. Because I'm staying where I stayed when I went to Miami last year for my birthday. And there is a convenience store within walking distance to grab that. 
so the lift doesn't have to make an extra stop um above and beyond that i'm just excited i'm gonna make it in town about 4 4 30 p.m so i'll have the day and night like i said before i want to stop and get some of that good shrimp that I had got from the Versace Mansion. Hopefully they do that as a takeout. And then kick it down by the palace. So, I'm so excited. I'm almost like nervous. Um, I think I've checked all the boxes to make sure I have an epic time. Oh, I was talking about the steakhouse. The reason that I still want to go there, um, one, I heard the main dining room food is not all that good, so I don't even know if I'll be doing the formal night at the main dining room. And um, I want to try lamb chops. I've never had lamb chops before. They have them in the specialty dining, so that's what I'm going to have. I was going to do the, they do this little ice and steam thing with the uh, oysters, but a couple of people have commented that they're nasty. So I'll probably just insert a quick clip of that because I'm thinking I'm going to go with the lobster bisque and the um, shrimp cocktail. Going to have me a Caesar salad. Going to have some of that macaroni and cheese. They said it's the bomb. And then my uh, lamb chops. So I'm excited. So right now, you guys, I think I'm getting ready to run in this restaurant and see where they are with my food because I did do my check-in. I'll be back. Only a few of my fabulous followers gonna get this, but y'all, I had got me a couple of new knives because I just feel like my other knives is getting dull. And I got some scissors, which I'm happy about because I don't like using my main scissors in the kitchen. I also got a thing to clean out my water bottles better. But look at the name. Oh Lord, honey. Ah! Used to rake leaves for money, now they pushing snow.